Hello world! In this week's vlog, I will be taking you from the city of Jeonju, which is my placement city here in South Korea, all the way to the city of Cheongju, where just this last weekend, a lot of my friends actually competed in an ultimate frisbee tournament. It was one of their last tournaments of the season, and so I wanted to go and cheer on many of my friends there. And one of those friends that I actually got to cheer on was my former yeah. Fulbright Orientation <laughs> Dynasty Let's leader, EJ. And at the end of this week's vlog, you're actually gonna get to hear his answer as to what hope means to him. So make sure to stick around for that. As well, throughout this entire vlog, you're gonna get to see so many clips of just how beautiful South Korea truly is in the fall, all the way from Jeonju to Cheongju and back again. So I can't wait to show you all of that and more. Guys, as always, with hope, I'm James. And before we end this week's vlog, as promised, here's my friend HeJ with his answer for what hope means to him. 
Hey James. Um, so we're talking about what hope means to me. And when I think about it, I think hope to me is having look, something to look forward to, you know? And I think um, if I put that in more concrete terms, it has to be something like looking at every day as a new beginning. And I know that's so cliched, but sometimes the, the moments where I actually have to think about having hope or keeping hope alive it's usually when I'm going through a rough patch in my life or I have some problem that I can't seem to fix immediately. So when I look at every single day as a new opportunity, new chance to make my life better, to change things so that I could get to a state where I'm, um, where I don't have this problem anymore, I think that's for me when hope becomes the most relevant in my life. And you know just having something to look forward to really makes a lot of these hard th hard things easier because i think one of the best pieces of advice that i got um after coming to korea was to always have something to look forward to um and this advice was given to me by the former director of fulbright um she said this in one of our speeches there that there are going to be times in this country in this new country that we're not used to uh, there are going to be hard times and there are going to be times when we just feel down and we feel frustrated and we feel sad but if we have things that we can look forward to that'll make those times much easier because these are things that we chose to do that things that we are looking forward to doing and things that we don't have to do you know and those are the things that are going to get you through those long days or those long weeks and yeah i just really think that Having hope for me is just always having something to look forward to, um, thinking, and that comes that comes just comes down to seeing every single day as a new opportunity to be better, to do to do something different, and yeah, so that's what hope means to me.